really excited. Thank you for having it's me. I feel great. The first time here and in London. Yes. So. It's really special. London. Yeah. It's a great city. Okay. A lot of blood, a lot of guts, some glitter in there, you know. You know <laughs> believe it or not, a couple of laughs. It's funny. Some laughs in there. Not too saturated funny. Funny. I keep hearing about this glitter. Yeah. This is a spoiler if you tell me why glitter comes in. No, it's just... I mean, if you you'll look, uh, you'll see when you look closely that there's a little glitter in the blood. You know, a little Wexler touch. Have you ever Have you ever seen a movie with blood that has glitter in it? Not yet. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like I saw a film recently that should have had glitter in it. Yeah. So how did you guys get involved with the film? Well, I met Jen Wexler, the director at South by Southwest, two years ago. And I just kept on hearing about this like really cool female filmmaker and who had this amazing script and I sort of you know, sought her out and somehow convinced her <laughs> to let me in her movie. How about you? Yeah, I met Jen through this very, very beautiful soul, Lois Drapkin. She's a casting director out of New York. Uh, she knew me from a couple other projects that I've done with her. Uh, she recommended me to Jen after, um, after an audition that I finished and she, she recommended me to Jen and then I met Jen and auditioned for Garth. And that's how we all got interclicked into Toronto. So what would you say, were there any challenges when you were filming it? Is there anything you find quite difficult or anything that sticks in your mind that you really had to get right? Um, well, there was a lot of, um, there's a lot of pretty intense physical things that you'll see. Yeah. Which was honestly like a lot of fun, but I yeah. guess it, it was physically challenging for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, for me, more to the physical, it, it was more emotionally challenging for me because, um, there's some you'll see the movie there's some there's some crazy stuff that happens and also behind the scenes having to be friends with Jeremy Home the guy's like a scary guy and you don't really I didn't really want to get too friendly with him the first time I met him actually I didn't meet him until this I told Jen I didn't want to meet Jeremy until the day we shot the first scene and when you see in the movie that that was the first interaction between me and Jeremy at the at the parking lot Film, is it quite hard to leave that all kind of on set when you leave to go home? Does it stay with you after you film your scenes? A little bit. I mean, it can. I know for me it was a lot of like, I use a lot of things in my personal life to draw on certain things that happened with Chelsea, so it's kind of hard to shake that off in the end yeah, of the day. For sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So, my last question for you guys is what's your favorite horror film and why? You know, a lot of people have asked me this, and I have plenty of horror films that you guys will probably love, that I like, but believe it or not, Texas Chainsaw Massacre was one of my top five, top five. That's a good one. The second time that's come up to you. I'm, I'm, gonna, hit, I'm gonna hit you with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's a classic. It's a classic, that's, you know what I mean? Just like The Ranger. <laughs> but my first is, of course, The Ranger. I think mine is, um, Let the Right One In. Mm. I love that movie. I like that, yeah. I like that. The original or the remake? The Swedish one. Yeah. Right answer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's everything, guys. So, good luck with the film tonight. We're going to be seeing it, so I can't wait. Thank okay, you so thank much. You. Thank you. Have a good time. Have a good time. See you later.